The Russia and the Ukraine war have sent oil and the metal prices soaring. How will this impact Australia's oil and the gas, metal and the minerals engineering service provider? Let's find out. Hello everyone, we are very pleased to have Patrick Callan, Chief Executive Officer of CIFMAC Limited, with us today to share about the company. Hello Patrick. Hello Yen. Hello everybody. So Patrick, what's your view on the oil, gas and the mining industries for Australia going forward? There's a very positive outlook across the board in these sectors. It's the mining sector first. I mean, it's always been our biggest revenue avenue um, since inception. Uh, iron ore prices remain high. Uh, our clients, we're working for all the main blue chip clients. They have plans for continued expansion and developing of new mines, which is really part of the program that, they, that they've always said they needed to do, even just to keep their outputs up at the levels that they are at. And they need to build mines continuously. So there are on, on the drawing board right now, there are several opportunities in that iron ore sector. And there's also the excitement around lithium plants. We reason, reason, recently announced the award of a, a, a major package of work uh, on, a, on another lithium plant, which will be our third lithium project. We are seeing some uh, consistent activity in, in the likes of the traditional gold. Um, vanadium is a new one that there's a bit of activity in, and then obviously some rare earths type opportunities. So within the resources sector, we do see a lot of opportunities coming up. It's been very steady for the last couple of years. And, uh, and we continue to see that uh, opportunity arising. We would call it energy is is very interesting at the moment. Obviously, there's a lot happening globally with Russia and the Ukraine, and that's seeing a spike in in oil prices, etc. But I mean, I, you know, our clients are telling us that there has been um, plans for quite some time for expansions and for new developments. And you know, regardless of what's happening globally, uh, indicators from our clients have been that there's going to be some upsurge in activity in this space uh, over the next couple of years. I mean, if you if you look at the sort of the, the data we're getting from the likes of uh, BIS Oxford Economics, it's suggesting. You know, in, in major projects in the resources, there is in the region of maybe 90 billion to be spent between now and uh, 2025. In the energy sector, in oil and gas, there are sort of predictions that there could be up to $100 billion worth of capex. The other thing that's very important and, and a very big part of our business and a, and a really growing part of our business is the maintenance of these plants. So you see some forecasts that suggest there could be up to $60 billion worth of maintenance activity across the sectors and across Australia uh, over the coming uh, four to five years. So, and as I say, the main restrictor at the moment is uh, ensuring that you don't take on more than you can deliver because of the resource shortage. How does Sifbank's position stand to benefit from this upturn? One of our differentials is that we are a full turnkey solution provider. I mean, we, are, we do have a lot of in-house disciplines and we do, you know, we've capability of earthworks, civil concrete works, doing the heavy engineering and the fabrication, doing the structural mechanical and piping erection, and doing the electrical instrumentation capability. So that's a key differential. I'm not saying others can't do it, but they generally don't have that discipline in-house. So if you, you know, combine the fact that we can, as I said earlier, we can support our sites by the supply of, of the steel components that are required. In the oil and gas sector, I think the ups upturn for us, the likely um, upturn for us here is that the last couple of years in the oil and gas sector have been quite have been pretty quiet, but we have stuck with the sector. Um, you know, we have continued to deliver for the likes of Chevron and Woodside um, over the years. And I'm not saying others haven't, but certainly their their focus might have turned a bit away from this sector. And I, I'm hopeful that uh, you know that commitment that we gave over the last couple of years to continue to supply a high quality product, particularly to the subsea sector of this area. And um, you know. Um, that we we'll, that we'll reap the reward of having that that continued commitment and, and retaining that continued relationship with those clients going forward. So we're confident we can continue to replenish the order book in these two sectors. Thank you.